we're at the Ross house. It's my first time here. We've got a uh, big paranormal investigation tonight. We're going to do lots of cool stuff. I'm going to have a GoPro running. I'm going to be filming various different little projects, different little sessions. And um, I think we're going to walk away with some pretty cool evidence. Uh, this is not far from the Beller house, which in past videos we've done before. Um, but this time, completely different location. We have the house. We have the antique store, which is connected to the house. And we're gonna have plenty of space to investigate. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a cool one. All right, my name is Mike. I want to tell you about my first time down at the Ross house. We we're standing it from the point of view of the camera, and right here along this back wall. With my video camera, I seen a little twinkle of light come down and it would go over towards this side of the wall and uh, a friend of mine was using the SLS camera and you could see the stick figure peek around, then it would duck back, then another twinkle would come down and do the same thing. It kept doing it over and over and over. Then later on, we were sitting there, there was me and I thought there was three women behind us and the white door that you come through to come into this part of the building opened up and slammed shut really hard. Scared the shit out of all of us. But uh, we both turned, well, me and this kid turned around and I asked Leah, I says, where'd your two friends go? And she says, there wasn't nobody there. There was only me, this kid, and, and, and one woman. But that door opened and slammed and nobody, nobody was around it. But that was my first time here and I'll never forget it. All right, so everyone can be quiet, and like I said, if you can, if you want to ask questions, feel free. But if there's anything in here with us that would like to interact, can you do something? Can you make a noise? Can you knock on something or, or move something? I heard that, that too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it sounded like it was Over up there. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was like a boom. Yeah. Can you make that noise again, please? Are you able to come down the steps? That was random moving. Does anybody have a round plug to put up top of the steps? There's numerous devices throughout the room that you can touch and light up. If you're in the room somewhere with us, can you light one of those balls up? Let us know where you're at. You don't have to be scared. I know this is a lot of people and you're probably wondering what's going on, but nobody's gonna hurt you. Nobody's going to move. We just want to talk to you and know that you're here. Don't be afraid. Did you used to shop here when this was a dry goods store? Did you used to live here in the town of Bel Air? This was a happening place here. Everybody would come here to do their shopping, buy their goods, buy, get back on the train. Can you tap on the wall back there if you're behind us, please? There's that price tag hanging off that frame there. Can you make that move for us? It looks like it is moving more now. Is there, is there any vents there at all? No. You made a noise after I asked if you used to live in Bel Air. Can you tell us what time frame that you lived here? Did you live here in the 1800s? If so, can you make that noise again, please? It was like a yeah. feeling like, yep. Yeah, it sounded yeah. like it was down here. Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, I did the S to the bottom of the steps, and I kept feeling like somebody was moving around me, like standing in front of me. It was like freaking me out. Yeah. So you turn that light on. Thank you. That was loud. Yep, that yeah, was, that was loud there. So you seem to indicate that you lived here in the 1800s. Heard that? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we're, I'm gonna list decades in the 1800s. When I get to the decade that you were born, can you make that noise? Were you born from 1800 to 1810? If you were born from 1800 to 1810, can you hit the light? Can you move that table enough to put the light on like you did before, please? Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna go through the years in that decade and once I get to the year that you were born, can you make that noise again, please? Were you born in 1800? Were you born in 1801? Were you born in 1802? If so, please make that noise again. If you were born in 1803, can you please make that noise? Just to mark it, that I think the heater turned on. Downstairs. Oh, uh, okay. Sean, you look behind you. Did you hear something yeah, over there? Yeah, the I'm not behind me. <clears throat> was it when yeah, 18... That was, that was very loud. <laughs> yeah, as soon as he turned the camera, it went real loud behind him. I might have been my chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll repeat that one. If you were born in 1803, can you please make that noise or... What was that? I might have been me walking over here. No, there was like a, was here, there was like a yeah. spitting noise or something. Static. Did you guys do something over there? Did you guys do something over there? like a Velcro song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was like a water bottle. Yeah. Crap. Was like so was like anybody moving back here? Yep, over here. It was right over here? Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I just turned my super off. I don't think that would give us a false noise or anything. I don't see anything back here. Did you move in that chair at all? No, chance? I was just okay. There. Yeah, that was loud. I thought someone was like spitting or choking or something. Yeah, it sounded like a water bottle. Yeah. It did sound like a water bottle. Hmm. So it seems like uh, you are indicating you were born in 1803. We're gonna do one more test just to make sure. If you were born in 1803, can you make a noise, do what you did back there, move something? just so we can verify. I know there's a lot of people that have different opinions about the app that you can get on your phone. There's one that we've had some success with that seems to verify some other devices we've used with it. That's one called GhostTube. It is free if anyone wants to download it. I'll turn mine on now, and occasionally this will just call a word out, like an obelisk would. And if that's the case, I will share that word if it gets said. Were you affiliated with this house? at some point throughout your life? Did you grow up in Bel Air? Hang out at the bars? Go bowling down the street at Riviera Lanes? Or stay at the beautiful Globe Hotel? If so, can you light up a cat ball? Did you work in a coal mine or glass factory? So if you were born in 1803, it's more likely you weren't born in Bel Air. Were you an immigrant to the U.S.? And there was a lot of those here. Which one is that tag moving behind you? It looks like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it is going like this. Uh, yeah, I know, I caught it on my camera. There's no kind of vent over there, like air? Heard that? Yeah. That was, yeah. It's, it's, it seems like everything's concentrated over there. Yeah. Because they got the Ouija board there. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't no, moving. Sure. <clears throat> were you an Irish immigrant? Can you move that more if you were an Irish immigrant? Oh. Well, that was well, heavy. That's no. yeah, wow. Oh. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah it's it's moving it a lot more. The, the price that did move a lot more. more. And that one like stopped dead. That was interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're saying it's moving more, and I said yeah. stop. <laughs> yeah, it's on that uh, flower <clears throat> picture over there. Can you oh. stop moving that for a second, please? Thank you. Wow. Were you from Dublin? This one right here is actually moving a little bit too. Uh, I can see that right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's any Some air circulation air? since they're both, both moving. Yeah. I don't know. 
Randall, is that you bumping against the table? Yeah, that's me. Okay. I'll move this thing. If you could set off a cat ball, we would know for sure it's not just the environment. Please. And a message to the spirits here, there are some people here gathered tonight that could be sensitive to you and be able to pick up on your energies and what you're trying to convey. Feel free to let them know the answers to any of our questions and they can call them out if they sense the answers. There's a noise just back here behind me now. Mm -hmm. And I thought earlier I saw some movement up there too. It looked like the lights were kind of getting manipulated a little bit. Do any of our guests feel like sitting up there alone and going to the other room and letting us know if they sense anything? Just um, watch when you go to the top of the steps because there's a front ball there. We got it. What happened? Spiking red. Spiking red on the day two. It's very rare. Thank you for letting us know that you're here. Do you have a name? Can you tell me your name? Keep hearing John. John. Mm -hmm. Ask his name. keep that between you and us, like you and me, John, the name John, and see if they pick it up on their end. Excellent. I feel like he worked here. Are you a little boy? Did you live here? Did you know Marie? Uh-huh. What did you just ask? Did you know Marie? He knew Marie. He knew Marie. Big time. Like that was... Is your name John? Is your name John? Do we know your name? Julia. Are you a man? Are we talking to Marie? Are you willing to communicate with us? You can use this light meter. You've used it before. Is anyone with us right now? And again, if you guys have any questions or want to ask questions, mm -hmm. feel free to just throw them out there. Okay. 
Is there anybody in here? Is that you moving the, going zooming in and out or anything? Sure. No. So I thought I heard something like back here. I hear this meter. That, that's probably oh, what it yeah, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. This gas is meter. It? The, the gas, gas meter. meter is ticking. Oh. And the furnace is down here too, right? I'm assuming. I think, yeah. Yeah, that's the clicking I heard. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If there's anything down here, can you let us know, was that tunnel used? as part of the Underground Railroad? Did you use that tunnel to potentially get your freedom? Is there anyone that would like to say anything to us? We're only here to gather information. We're curious about life on the other side. Can you make a noise somewhere? Maybe on the tools behind, on the table. If there's anyone back there, can you push on that plastic? If you push hard enough, we'll be able to hear it. Is the owner of these, these clothes sitting here? Are you down here with us? Did you hear a boom? Like a boom? That was, that was that. Oh, okay. Do you know who put these clothes here? mitten and some papers stuffed up in the rafters and the floorboards. Can you let us know? Can you move that caution tape hanging down? There's two strips. Can you move that for us? They said they found these clothes in the floorboards. Are you able to knock in the area where where they were found. You make a loud noise, let us know you're here. I'm gonna knock on the wall over here of the supposed tunnel. If there's anybody on the other side, can you knock back? It's kind of hard to hear stuff live. You get most of it uh, when you're reviewing your footage, yeah. uh, but sometimes you can still get clear enough stuff that that you can hear it live. But a lot of the times, it unfortunately is like, and what it does is it uh, it scans radio frequencies. Um, sometimes it does still get radio bleed. I'll admit. So at one point, I was doing an investigation. It sound I could hear like just snippets of the pens game. <laughs> so there there are moments like that. That's why you kind of throw out anything and let. Was that you clearing your throat or something? I, didn't, I, didn't, I just cleared my throat. <laughs> oh, okay. No. Uh, but, um, so sometimes you have to throw a lot of it out unless it's like a direct answer to what, what you asked. Yeah. So is there anybody down here that wants to interact? We, you can come through and speak, but it, we apologize if we can't hear you. A lot of the times it's hard to understand. So if you can come through and use your energy as much as possible to get a clear response through this device, can you let us know are you here with us? It sounded like you said, yeah, it's me, in a man's voice. Like yeah, kind of. Yeah. Sure. yeah, it sounded like said, yeah, it's me. And a lot of times it goes, it, it, like, here's it sweeping. So it sweeps relatively quickly. Yeah. So if you hear a voice that comes through and it's like a, a sentence like that seemed like it was, yeah. that's through multiple radio frequencies. So it's not like it got stuck on, you know, Mark Madden or, or some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. 
So you sounded like you were you were a man coming through. Can you let us know what your name is, sir? CJ. Would you would you see her? CJ. That's what I heard. Yeah. Too. CJ. Mm -hmm. CJ, can you tell us? Are those your clothes that are sitting over there? So at one point, there, it sounded like there was a female voice that came through, and it sounded like it said, that's him. But it was like a female, like a real faint female voice. Mm -hmm. Can you let us know how many spirits or how many beings outside of us that we can see that are down here with us right now? So it sounded like we've interacted with a man and also potentially a, a woman or, or a, a little girl. Can you let us know exactly how many people can you see right now? There's five of them. That's what I heard too. Yep. What did you hear? There's five of them. So uh, is that he was calling us? I mean, there's six of us. See, this is one thing um, I, I think if... <laughs> One of my hypotheses is, and I, I, it's impossible to test because we don't know what we're interacting with, but I, I, I sometimes I'll ask, like, how many spirits are with us? And I'll get three, I'll get five, I'll get six. So I feel like if there is another realm, there's possibly layers to the realm, and yeah. some spirits are powerful enough that they can see multiple layers, while some of them can only are limited to just their layer or maybe, you know, a couple other ones. Yeah. So that's why when you ask them how many how many spirits are here, some will say three because they're limited to that that particular layer. But some will say seven or eleven, mm -hmm. or they're just throwing out random numbers. Well, <laughs> I would like to know who has the strongest energy here as a spirit. What's your name? It sounded like you said I do right at the end there. Yeah, there was something there in the beginning. I there was, yeah, I couldn't make it out though. That's what I said, like it's it's hard live, yeah. but like when you review it, yeah. you use like noise canceling yeah. headphones and it equalizes the sound. You can hear it a lot clearer. Is there anything that we can do to raise the energy so you can come through? <laughs> Yep. Can you tell us what we can do to better interact with you to raise your energy? Like a female came through, like when I first turned first. it on. 
Yeah. Yeah. Running out the door. I couldn't tell what she said though. Ma'am, can you come through and let us know what your message to Joe was? Drop something. I thought I heard get lost. <laughs> 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 That's the thing with this too. Sometimes it's uh, subjective. Yeah. Right. So, of like, because you're like, oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Like no, nothing in the paranormal field, unless you see something move by yeah. itself or something like that, everything has faults. Yeah. Unfortunately. No doubt. Yeah. So the only reason I ask about the energy is um, I've been reading about past, um, like back in the 1800s when they would have sitting rooms, not seances, but just to to do spirit work yeah. that they would all sing and dance and raise the energy in the room to allow them to actually appear and they would appear in ectoplasm like solid form where they could actually cut it off and study it oh okay so, that's wild yeah so some of these old time like rituals would be done every saturday yeah like, they would have these saturday meetings and close the room darken it and they would raise the energies <laughs> because that's how the spirits interacted yeah. with them yeah yeah, yeah we, we use music sometimes too. Mm -hmm. um, we can see if there's any, uh, if anything can come through, like they'll maybe say an artist that they would like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's try it. So, to the people that are down here that we're interacting with, we do want to play some music for you. Can you let us know what your favorite song is or your favorite artist? We're, we're not able to make out what you said. Can you let us know what year you are from, what year it is, where you're at, and we can try to pick out a song from that era. Can you let us know? End of war. End of war? Yeah. It sounded like the end of the yeah, war. Yeah, that was really loud. Yeah. Which war? Sounded like whiskey again. Remember, said, remember how he said bottle of whiskey? It sounded, yeah. it sounded like that again. Can you think of a song about whiskey? Like a bunch of oh, like, yeah, maybe like from like uh, maybe nineteen hundreds. Oh, what is it? The nineteen hundreds? Yeah, I would assume like nineteen hundreds or whiskey. whiskey is a whole song. That's exactly what I thought of with Burl Ives. Like, yeah, we'll go back to like the Okay, let's see. Let's pull it out. <laughs> All right, do you like that song? Priceless? I thought I heard priceless. Yeah, yeah. It sounded like something priceless. It sounded like priceless. Do yeah. You, do you want a drink? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> there a bottle stash in these rafters? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Four? I think as I was shutting it off, I think it said four. <laughs> Are you from the Prohibition era? Something actually. Yeah. yeah, that was weird. Did you drink whiskey down in this room? That I 
did, but it was like a real faint voice. Okay. I'm trying to find, um, there's an Irish melody, Humors of Whiskey, but there's so many people that covered it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I might just throw one of them on, even though if it's modern, they may still recognize the melody. Do you want to come through this? Can you let us know? Do you want to dance to any of the music that we're playing? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I heard that. Yeah. All right, let's bring it. Left side. Ah! Hi. Are you over here? Who's left? Left side. Yeah, who's left? Are you over here? I couldn't make out what it I said. I couldn't either. Are you on this side of the room? Just moved. Oh shit, it did. <laughs> Are you dancing right over there? Dancing! dancing. Did you hear that? I that was clear that. as day. I heard that. Oh my god. Wow. Do you want us to dance with you? Beer, maybe, or here? Go ahead, dance. Dance right where you were dancing. Keep making that thing move. Let us know you're here. Come on, you can dance with us. She's having fun. <laughs> I'm having fun. Like something down here, but it sounded like a male's voice. Yeah, that was definitely not female. And it didn't sound Irish. Uh -uh. <laughs> Sir, I apologize uh, that I said it sounded like you were female. Can you tell us what your name is, please? You said I am the. Can you finish your sentence, please? Can you tell us what you indi were indicating that you are? That's, it sounded like the same voice tone yeah. as the I am though, but I couldn't make out what it said. You can't make this move for us, please? Look, we got a bunch of non-believers over there. <laughs> Are they still over there? They don't believe you exist. Can you show them? If she puts the music back on, will you, will you move that? Can you move that a little bit to let us know you want the music back on, please? It's water going through the pipe. <laughs> I think so. That's a lot of water. Yeah, I can't. Nope. Yeah. Are you done with us? <laughs> <laughs> you done dancing? Do you want us to leave you alone? Funny. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> funny. It's wow. Funny. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I swear to God, I heard you. The clothes you're dressed in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're funny. We're funny, aren't we? Yeah, we're from a t different time period. Can you tell us what kind of attire you have on? Out there. Yeah. 
Do you want us to do you want us to put more music on? The media time? I don't know. Something like that, yeah. Can you tell us what year is it where you're at? Can you let us know? Did you make a clear your throat or something? No. That was Joe. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I just heard it over the spirit box. <laughs> Can you let us know what year? You were born? Something 85. 1885? Was it To shut this off. Can you let us know by moving this, knocking on something, anything to let us know? Were you born in 1885? If you were, can you do something to let us know that is correct? Right there. Oh, really? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. You saw a shadow? Uh huh. Was it like, like just right behind you, right it here? It was across the line. It was like, it was like this, like, ball, shadow ball, like, and then. Like an orb thing? Yeah, or I looked because I thought it was something in my eye, and then it, I saw it further over there. Oh my god. <laughs> I wish we could go over there, but I'm assuming the caution tape, but it means that you're not allowed. I'm totally freaking out. <laughs> Is there something back there? Can you knock something over back there to let us know? Were you standing in this area? Oh, okay. It's off this. I, yeah. I saw the pipe move yeah, a little yeah. bit. Are you able to knock something over? Can you touch something? Touch the plastic? If you can knock over that ladder, I will pack my camera up and walk home. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long ass walk. If, if they do it, uh, it's worth it. <laughs> Cobwebs move. There's some cobwebs right above the camera. There's a dead spider. Were you trying to show yourself to us? go completely dark will you interact with us better maybe try keeping the camera on but just uh, yeah shut the IR light off so we're not able to see anything down here do you want to come out and interact with us now do you feel safer? I don't think there's a tap over there, but it could have been anything. Are you in the corner back here? Can you say something? Someone's walking. Yeah, upstairs.
I don't know if it's just me or if there is something here, but I'm going to put my hand over here. Are you able to touch it? Can you hold my hand for a second? Or push me away if you're a guy? <laughs> I give you permission, if, you're, if you don't like my hand being over here, you can push it away or even scratch it or anything just to let me know that you don't want me over here. There's plastic right here. If you're in this corner with me, can you touch the plastic enough to, to let me know that you're here? I'm going to turn this on up here in front of the camera, if you could, please. No cheese. No cheese. Something to work. We're back in the basement. Asking questions. Meter on the see floor. Seeing if anything moves or anything. And then Lights maybe over uh, break out the double Estes method. Estes method. GoPro upstairs. Live camera. Do you want this? Down here. Camera? Round two. Oh, that's not it. That's not Metallica. We don't want that one. <laughs> that's what, uh, Let's do the Irish road. They, they call it the Bel Air house the house. <laughs> All right, well, we had fun with the interaction with the last group. Uh, this group's going to bring the energy as well. So uh, if there's anybody down here with us still, are you able to move something? Are you able to knock on something to let us know where you'd want us to go? You have to watch out. There's a meter back there, the gas meter, and it clicks all the time. You were moving stuff back there where those red dots are. Are you able to show yourself? Can you dance back there again? Do you need the Irish music to dance? Try something different this time. I still stand by my ladder comment from earlier. Some pokes. The offer still stands. Oh, <laughs> knocking the ladder over. I told I told the spirit if they knocked over that ladder back there that I would pack up my camera equipment and walk home. <laughs> offer still stands. Prove me wrong. So we have about 10 minutes, or 20 minutes. Do you want to do the double Estes? Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Are you guys good asking questions, or do you want to do it? If you want to do it, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. whoever wants to do yeah, it. Yeah, you can do it. Okay. I don't want to hurt a film. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, I'm not trying to pressure people to do it or anything. Okay, so we have two people down here using devices that you can communicate through. Can you come through one of them and let us know how many spirits or how many people are down here with us? Good friends. How many good friends are down here? That laser here just shut off and came back yeah, on. Yeah, I saw that. Not with that. Yeah, yeah there goes, there goes again. again. Is it dying? I don't know. Is that your root or? No, it's not ours. Oh, okay. It just came back on. Yeah. Are you using this device right here? Are you shutting it off and turning it back on? It just shut off again. Can you come through one of them to let us know? Cindy? Cindy. Cindy's upstairs. Oh, that's my phone. I'm sorry I could hear that. That's okay. It just keeps doing it. Is that the battery dying or is that you interacting with us? Special. Listen. Special listen. Is this a special place for you? 
Secret. Secret. Also secret. This was about prohibition, wasn't it? Possibly, yeah. I'm not gonna tell the law. I'm on your side. Who's got a secret? What'd you drink down here? Did you make your own alcohol down here? Do you want us to dance down here again? It's my house. Can you let us know who you are? Can you tell us what your name is? What'd you make down here? We're not here to, to harm you or anything. Was that tunnel used in the Underground Railroad? Was that tunnel used to help you get your freedom? Did you use that tunnel? Mississippi? Did you escape from Mississippi and come up here? I just got a lot colder over here. I got a lot colder. You from Mississippi? Now I went away. What's beyond that wall? I know you want to keep it a secret and you don't have to worry about it anymore. Whatever was going on down here is very likely to be legal these days. Secret. <laughs> We can keep a secret. Jordan. It's almost like I said hush, but I don't know. Is the secret about what's right there? I think it said a little more patient. Are you able to tell us what the sea Flow is? to the sea? Flow to the sea? The tunnel went to the sea? Well, the tunnel, um, Captain Fitch used to use the, uh, the hay of the steamships on the river, and that was the theory with the Bel Air House, is they were part of the Underground Railroad, and they would hide, uh, you know, people trying to escape up in the attic. So, I don't know if sea, I don't think it would take them to the sea, but maybe... To the river and maybe with their you know, the their intelligence level they mean they think that's you know call that a sea, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure.